Cine Soccer back from a video. And I got a little haircut, as you can see, I got my stuff trimmed up, even though I didn't trim this up, but I did trim that up up there. But anyway, I'm gonna go a little video right here, just kinda go around town, see what kind of stuff I can stock up on, all that kind of thing right there. So I'm gonna go over here first, about two weeks ago. I'm gonna go back because I know you put out some new toys, so yeah, I think you might know where I'm going, but I'm gonna go right here. Yep, I'm going to Bargain Hunters again real quick because they closed in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go in there right now. I'm going to look around real quick to see if they have any uh, different toys you might have put out. Because I, I saw his video like over a week ago and um, he said he was putting out some new toys. So I'm going to go in there and see if there's anything else you might have put out. I don't want to miss nothing. Miss my chance on something cool. So I'm going to go in there real quick. Even though I was already here a couple of weeks ago, I might as well go back again because this place is so awesome. Got all that cool like old school Game Boy stuff right there. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. Very, very cool. And as you can see, they're, they're putting stuff away right now because they're closing in about 10 minutes. And they already have like things where you kind of block me out. But I'm kind of looking here briefly, you know, briefly, maybe buy something like a cool toy or something. Let's look at the Tales from Pig Keeper toys, which are pretty awesome. Let's look at which are cool. Two or two action figures, which I did get. One of those, those are pretty badass. And so they have like lots of stuff in these bins right here. That's why I found the Pubmaster toy out before. But I don't see no Pubmaster toys. I don't see a whole bunch of new like different toys I want to get other than last time. Kind of the same stuff. That's why they have this though. When WWF had attitude right here. This thing, he's like, I don't want this like a little miniature like rubber Jeff Hardy toy or something like that. Huh. Kind of interesting. You have little bendems, like little like rubber toys. And I'm on this side now trying to get a better vantage point on this side right here. You've got little different things, like almost like Japanese kind of things, like these like robots, like you know, like sort of like transformer type things, Gundam, things like that. They mostly have it kind of put out that side that I see that's different. But I'm still looking around. Make sure to eat your Wheaties. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna way over here to the movie area. I'm gonna look real quick to see if they put any new titles out. I'm gonna probably look real frantic, but I'm just gonna look briefly and hopefully find something cool that I don't overlook because this place is closing up real soon. Let's go see. It's getting you know, close to Halloween time. We got the old classic Goosebumps, A Night in Terror Tower. It was a pretty cool one right there. I think I do remember this one. Kind of a creepy, cool one, like you know, right there from the Goosebump show. That's pretty sick. Pretty cool cover on that thing. Good old Goosebumps. Badass. So I know they got some of these on DVD. I don't know if they have like this episode on those DVDs, but that's that's pretty damn cool. All right, I just left Bargain Hunters. I couldn't really look in there that much because I only had like about less than 10 minutes to look around. So it's kind of a brief, quick look through of there. But I just wanted to like record a little bit. I was hoping to find something that, I, that they might have put up that I haven't seen before. But it's kind of like the same stuff that I've seen before I went there. Still cool stuff, but it's stuff I already kind of boxed. I bought a couple of those Tales from the Crypt Keeper toys. So I was like, eh, I don't think we buy any more of those, at least for right now. But I just want to look in there real briefly. But I'll go in there next time earlier, not before they close. I'll go there like a good hour or more before they close so I can really look around. And that's when you can find all the cool like hidden gem kind of things. But now off to the next spot. All right, next place I'm going to is this place behind me. Boom, Daiso. Grand opening in Japanese market I've never been to before. Let's go check it out. I get some crazy wacky Japanese candies and treats. Let's go see. And there it is, I mean, a lot of windows. Here we are. And it's very bright in here. It's like crazy bright. Uh, looking around, I noticed something. Everything in the store is a dollar fifty. See, dollar fifty, dollar fifty. So you want this? It's a buck fifty. Everything's a buck fifty. These interesting chips, like this. I don't know what this is, but it is cheese flavored. But I lie. Not everything is a dollar fifty. This right here is one seventy-five. Why is that? It looks like kind of cool like drinks, like these little like sodas right here. I think the full are actually pretty good. Kind of cool like different kinds of soda, like grape. It's like different tasting. And these ones are kind of good. It's like a little ball in there. It cracks open, pops in the middle right there. You just kind of drink it like that. But they're pretty good. Not too bad. These have that refreshing taste made of cola and fruit juice. These right here. Mm-mm. Whoa, check this out. Milkshake candy right here. Look at that. Milkshake candy. You got melon, 
chocolate and banana milkshake candy. I never even heard of that, but interesting. I might get one of these, like these jelly things. Look, they're kind of cool. You can get a whole lot of these phallic shaped banana cases. In case you want to put your banana in a case, you can put it in that. And it kind of looks like, I don't know, it looks like something else of the male origin. Hmm. I don't know. Koi nonchakus right here. Get some of those, you know, hit each other with those, you know? Some crazy mech weird, like masks, you know, for like Halloween. I get this one, like, let's party, you know? Let's party, I guess. We have that. It's like weird, you know, little funny glasses, like these things, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting stuff here. And all for a buck fifty. You can get like fake fruits and foods, but the best thing ever is this. Who know? I, I definitely missed this out when I was a kid. It's a fake toilet set, a plastic fake toilet. You can get that, and it's so fun. Right there, fake plastic toilet. For a buck fifty clean set, how fun is that? Learn how to clean a toilet and brush everything and, and sweep things. Amazing. All right, so I just left Daiso. Ended up getting that a uh, grape jelly like fruit little candy thing. Forgot to try that out and some like weird chips. So off to the next spot. I'm right, my next location right now, and I'm a little bit hungry after seeing some of that those treats at that Japanese place Daiso. So I'm gonna go over here. I've never been here before. It's definitely a different place I normally go to. And there's a hint behind me right there. Yep, that's a big cock or a chicken. I'm gonna go to this place, the Chicken Pot Pie Shop. I'll show you a little better because you really can't see it right now. But yeah, it's a chicken pot pie restaurant. Yeah, it's been around for like 60 or 70 years. Let's go check it out. And that there is a crazy eyed cock. And as you can see, it is a chicken pie shop right here. Chicken pot pie shop right there. Here we are inside. It's sort of like uh, cafeteria food, but in the best sense is this chicken pot pie place. It's a really good deal. It's like seven bucks or something for like a big chicken pot pie meal with like dessert and salad and mashed potatoes. I'll show you in a bit, but look at these crazy kids dressed up in chicken costumes. Pretty strange. And this place won an award for the best chicken pot pies around. Really has a plaque. Yeah, this will be different. No Mexican food today. Whenever you look, there's chickens and cocks everywhere. I've never seen so many chicken cocks in my life. Look at this. It's insane. All right, so now I'm seated at a booth right here. And here is the menu for the chicken pot pie shop. Oh, I'm way off. It's been around since 1938. Here's something to get right here. The famous pie dinner. Right here, 35, you get, you know, Chicken pot pie with, you know, soup, uh, veggies, coleslaw, all this stuff right there. So, that's just a pretty good deal with like dessert and a roll for like $8.35. Not bad. They also have like, you know, other things too besides pot pies, like chicken fried steaks, teriyaki, you know, chicken sandwiches, cold turkey sandwiches, tuna salad, stuff like that. There's like specials right here they got going on. Little things in the day that have like different specials. Like, I guess that's day three chicken roll tacos. Who wants that? And you gotta get the chicken pot pie. Right. That's definitely a place you would take grandma to. Is this place? Yeah, grandmas and grandparents love this kind of joint. All right, my food has arrived. It was like really quick. It only took like two minutes to do my food. But here's my chicken pot pie with the gravy. Got the veggies going on, mashed potatoes, coleslaw, a hot roll, and I still get dessert. All that for eight dollars. You cannot beat that as an awesome deal. I've been in this place in like a few years, but it is pretty damn good. Um, it's like old comfort food. You can't go with chicken pot. I doesn't like that, but yeah, that's digging in this bad boy right here. Looks really, really good. Oh man, look at that! Look at all the big, big chunks of the chicken in there with the gravy. Oh man, look at that thing. Super, super good. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, there it is. Oop, some of it just fell, but here we go. I'm gonna dig in this chicken pot pie, or chicken pie. Mm. That's pretty damn good. Nice, good old comfort food. Tasty, like, you know, crust in that thing. Very, very good. Mm. Not bad. Very good. Get a lot of food for your money. Freaking awesome. This is for you, Wet Movie One. Tabasco sauce. Mm. 
nice and Tabasco-y. Oh yes. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. And my cherry pie just arrived too. There's like about five hundred five pies you can choose from. I chose cherry. Let's look at all this food I can eat. I got like all this stuff. I still gotta eat. I'm like, oh my god, for eight bucks, and they feed you a lot of food here. Definitely uh, hook it up at the chicken pot pie shop. I mean, as you can see, I ate everything here. I ate my slaw, I ate my bun. I still gotta eat this. And ate all this. I even ate my veggies I'm like a good boy. And all my veggies. I got one more piece of pie left with some Tabasco sauce on it. So, way up. I'm gonna chow this down right now, and after this, eat this pie. Here we go. Last little bit of pie left. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like stuffing all that food. My God, it's like a buffet. Man, super, super, super pretty good. You know, for comfort food, not bad. Definitely recommend it if you're in San Diego. Check out the chicken pie shop. Pretty damn good. Then a uh, chicken, like, you know, chicken cock right here. So just left the chicken pie shop, and man, I am stuffed like a muff right now. Oh my God, I'm like, whoo, very, very full. But yeah, pretty good place. So if you're in town, check it out. Now off to the uh, next little spot. Let the stock can keep on going, man. Oh yeah. And I'm back over here again, Super Fast Video 6, because I gotta pick up those tapes, because in that video I made last week, I, I gave it to the uh, the guy to look for the tapes in there, so hopefully he found some of them. So I'm gonna go right there, right now. I hope they're open. Looks like they aren't, but I think they are. We'll find out. Yeah, they are. And um, hopefully he found a few of them. We'll find out. This little follow-up to my VHS findings. All right, so that was quick. That was brief. I guess the place closes at 8.30. Um, so like I got actually two tapes in there, and they weren't even tapes I actually wanted. They were tapes he had behind the counter. And I was like, because he still is looking for my tapes. I let him look for the ones in the bag. He's still looking for them. So I'm like, damn. So I got a couple tapes right here. I just got these for the hell of it, like you know, a buck for both of them. For this one, the gum shoe kid right there. The guy that was, in, you know, the boy who could fly and stuff like that. Jay Underwood. I just figured, let's get this. I've never seen it before. Like some weird, you know, like comedy kind of thing. Figure, what the hell? And this for a good old laugh. The New Adventures of Pippi Longstocking. I figured, what the fuck? I'll just get this damn thing. I used to always watch this damn movie on HBO back in the day. Always kind of cool. I'm not even sure if it's on DVD or not. But I figured, you know what? I'll just get it. Kind of cheesy, cool, kitty artwork. So I figured, why not? They, these weren't even movies I actually wanted. They just just having the back. Like, you want, you want these? I'm like, yeah. I'll just get those. Figured, what the hell? Then off to the next spot, and hopefully you'll find those damn tapes for me by this weekend. We'll see, but I kind of doubt it, but I'm holding out hope. You never know. The next stop right here is I'm going to go to this place behind me. Woo! A Walmart. That's something I really never go into. I want to go into a Walmart right now just because my buddy Sean, you know, cool duder, he was at a Walmart yesterday in his video. And that's something in there that I seen that I just gotta get. The price is right, it's something I wanna get and check out. So I'm gonna hope I'm gonna go in there and hopefully this Walmart has it. So let's go inside and uh, go to Walmart. So I hardly ever do that, but I'll do it this time. Yep, let's just do it. Actually, at Walmart is kinda weird because I never really come to Walmart, but I did find what I'm looking for in Sean's video, and it is this. This right here for only $7.88. Get the underrated producer's cut. Halloween 6, The Curse, Michael Myers, and you know, I, I, I wasn't going to get the um, the gigantic Blu-ray set pretty much just for this movie, but since I get this for like $7.88, I'm just going to get this for next. It's the only one I, wish, I really wanted to watch off that set, so that's pretty damn cool. I guess it's like a little Halloween section, so there's like these other like Halloween like you know, type horror movie DVDs right here, so you know, that's kind of cool. That is pretty scary too. Look at that rhinestone. Oh man, it definitely feels strange from out of Walmart. I really hardly ever do that, so that's kind of uh, interesting. Cause I always pretty much go to mom and pop shops and stuff, but uh, it was kind of cool. They got this, so I'm definitely happy to, you know, about that. Let me see what else they kind of stuff they might have here. Anyways, we got this is kind of cool. The Monday Night War Volume Two. Know your role and shut your mouth if you smell what the Rock is cooking. The awesome Attitude Era. I'm sure that's a pretty badass set. First one was really good. I'm sure this one's just as good, I bet. Let's go the set too, is I've never seen the actual bootleg of this. When this was out on bootleg. The producers got this thing, I've never seen it. So this might be, this will be my first time actually watching it. It's on this version right here. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think of this version of it. I heard it ties in the story a lot better 
than the cut they had in the theaters. Actually, I remember this is the very first Halloween I seen in theaters was this one as a young teen watching this. So um, I'm looking forward to checking this out. It should be pretty damn cool. Over 70 minutes of unedited footage. So hell yeah, I'll definitely be watching this tonight. You know, you're at Walmart and you have tons and tons of pallets stacked up high as hell waiting to get broken down. Oh man, Halloween stuff. You have R2, D2, like little Halloween stuffed animal thingies. But it's nice, it's all, got all the Halloween stuff up right now. That's pretty damn cool. Get the Halloween festiviness and awesomeness in the air. And holy shit, that is a gigantic Rice Krispie treat. Holy fuck. All right, so I just left Walmart. I did end up buying this right here, Halloween producer's cut. So not bad for $7.88, very good deal. So if you want to get this, you haven't seen it yet, definitely pick it up at Walmart. Freaking awesome cheap price. So can't go wrong with that. Definitely check that out tonight. Well, that's it for my video right there. Kind of went around around town. Did some kind of weird things, you know, with that chicken pie shop and with the bargain hunters, which was cool. Didn't find thing in there, but still awesome. And then that weird, you know, Daiso place and uh, the one video shop. Didn't get shit really that I wanted, but I did get a couple of movies that are kind of cool. Constellation Prize VHS tapes I got with Pippi Longstocking and the Gumshoe Detective, or whatever the hell that one's called. And also, I may be hitting up Sons of Montsapalooza this Saturday. I'm not really sure yet. I'm still thinking about it. And something else might go on that day, so it's still up in the air. So if I do go there, I'll be hanging out with Cool Dude or What Movie One and all my buddies. And so if you see us, definitely say hi and what's up. That'll be pretty fun right there. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Love to hear what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys later in the next one. Oh, yeah. Catch you later.